Hi, this is Linda and today I want to talk rulers and guidelines. Now, as you can see at this moment in time, I have my workspace set up with inches and the grid is quarter of inch. Now, I'm wanting to work within a space on this um, workspace, if that makes sense, and I'm wanting it to be a certain size. One way of being able to delineate that is by dragging in guidelines. So if I go to my ruler, I left click, hold and drag, I can bring down a guideline and I can place that wherever I want to. And all I do is just let go of the mouse. And I can do that from the side as well. And you can do that as many times as you want and you can bring in as many guidelines as you need to be able to work with what you're wanting to design. Okay, so presuming that I have done what I'm going to do with in that area and I'm wanting to get rid of all these lines now, if I go to the ruler at the top, I right click, I have an option there to remove guidelines and I'll just click on that and they all disappear. Now maybe I want to have a say a two inch square because that's what my quilt is made up of, two inch squares or it has areas within there that is two inch squares. I can bring in the guidelines and I can position it to give myself that two inch square. So I'll drag in two from the top and two from the sides. and create that two inch square. Now if I go to this one you can see it's changed to a double headed blue arrow just underneath it to the right hand side. If I click and hold I can drag that line to an exact position so I can reposition every line that is on there. So I now have there a two inch square as you can see two inches there and two inches there. But what I'm wanting to do is to work on half square triangles, for instance. So I would really like a line to go that way and divide it at a 45 degree angle. And I can do that. If I drag in a line and I right click on that line, I've got two more options. I can change the colour. That might be useful to us, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to change it to red and click OK. And now I'm going to right click on it again and I'm going to change the angle. Now I'd like it to be a 45 degree angle but you can highlight that number or the zero, click in whatever angle it is that you want it to go to and say OK and it will go to that angle for you. Now right click again, angle and if you go to the arrow, the drop down arrow, you've got presets of 45, 90 and 135 and I'm going to click 45 and click OK. Now I can drag that line to wherever I want it to be. That now gives me an area there of my half square triangles to be able to produce whatever design it is that I want to be able to fit into there. So you can then click away and do whatever it is that you're wishing. Okay. Now, maybe um, I've created a design and it's not quite in the area that I want it to be. I'm just going to remove all these guidelines and this little squiggle. Okay. What I want you to do now is keep your eye on where the zeros are as well. So if I had um, just any sort of design brought in there. Okay. If I decided that actually I want that zero line, that central line, to be here or here or wherever I want it to be within there. So this is this um, pattern and it could be as complex as you wish it to be, is zeroed. If I go to this top left hand corner here between the two rulers, click and drag, can you see it's bringing in both a vertical and a horizontal line. This is a new zero point. So keep your eyes on the zero, which is now um, about center of the page both ways. And I'm going to click and drag to there. And as I let go, watch where the zeros jump to. There you go. So the mouse now, you can see the arrow is exactly where I dropped it. And if you look both up and to the left, you can see that the zero point is now exactly where the mouse was. 
It's not a tool I think you would use very often, but it's there if you need it. Hope that's helped, and I'll see you soon. Bye.